Well guys, this is just a video to show uh, that uh, the PSP is capable of running the uh, N64 emulator um, really well because uh, I tried the um, Game Boy Advance emulator and uh, it managed to get a fair um, uh, 60 FPS out of uh, the two uh, 60 FPS from uh, from only using 255 um, no, 230 so something megahertz from the CPU out of 333 as the PSP has a uh, has at the maximum and uh, I must say that um, S64 emulator uh, runs pretty uh, pretty well on the old old uh, handheld managed to map all of the buttons to how the N64 would um, would be like so for now it runs at 30.3 at the maximum uh, 3.3 FPS. I really must say that I'm uh, impressed that this whole machine can still run something like this. <laughs> so I can try to launch um, uh, launch um, a green of time as a demo. Start emulation. I'm not sure that the um, game will work um, from um, from the settings that I use for Super Mario, but uh, it's worth a shot. Hmm, it's work well. 120 FPS. <laughs> Fancy that. Oh. 11 FPS. <laughs> yeah, sorry for the background noise, if you heard it. I'm watching a movie while I do this review. Fear 31, 32 FPS. Not bad at all. So let's speed this up. And here we are in the game again. So I have to say that I'm impressed that I even get a fair 21 FPS out of out of this game, which is more gra graphic intense than Super Mario. Okay, a slight FPS drop of 7 FPS, then 12, 11, 10, 9. Yeah, it seems like I have to tinker with the uh, graphics settings and see if I can make it run more smooth.
Whoa, FPS drop. <laughs> the entire house or something to clear out the FPS drops if I get sort of via memory or something let's see if this fixes it no so FPS drops there we go up to 16 FPS, 15, 18. So yeah, this is, it seems like the PSP is capable of running most games on um, on the N64 emulator, even though it needs to um, be optimized some more. But uh, it works pretty well. So if you have any questions or anything, just type it in the comment section. And thank you for watching.